so I want to tell you a story that I didn't even know I had in my head until about an hour ago. And it's something that happened like over six years ago. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that what I learned from this story was the missing piece of the puzzle when it comes to fully understanding the law of attraction. And it's about football. It's about high school football. But for some context, going into my freshman year, my high school football team had been a complete dumpster fire for like forever. The last three years, I think they'd won a combined one game in those three seasons. And honestly, I had no reason to think anything different for like when I would play varsity football eventually because every single team I had been on in the past had been complete trash. So I was honestly kind of used to it. But my high school had hired a new coach the season before to try and turn things around. And the first, or his second season he coached, they actually won eight games, which everyone thought was insane at the time. But looking back at it now, it really wasn't. The senior class that played when I was a freshman had been playing varsity football together since they were sophomores. And since nobody wanted to play at the school, since they were so bad, there was nobody in the junior class or the senior class. So they were basically thrown into the fire as 15, 16 year old kids going up against 17, 18 year old kids, you know, and that's a, that's a pretty big gap. And so of course they were bad, but what was really going on here was they were just getting punched in the face or taking it on the chin, failing, getting just absolutely embarrassed every single week for two years. You know, finally, when they step into the role of the senior and they're no longer outclassed in every single way possible, especially physically, it's like, no wonder they were able to be a good team. But this story is not about that senior class. It's not about that season or the next one. It's about the one that we had when I was a junior. And to be frank, this senior class that we had this year was absolutely loaded. I don't know how, I don't know why, they just were and they knew it. I still had never really been on a winning football team before, so I didn't really have any idea. But once summer came around, something happened and I finally began to understand and realize what was actually gonna happen and so did everyone else. And so in the summer, what started to happen was everyone was talking about winning the state championship, but really what they were talking about was the party, the state championship party that we would have after winning the game. And this was just absolutely crazy. I thought this was so dumb. I thought these guys were just completely delusional, overconfident. And people were talking about like where this party would be at, who would be there, what would happen. And like, th keep in mind, this is in summer when we hadn't, we barely practiced with pads. Nobody even really knew what this team actually looked like playing the actual game of football. And so, yeah, I thought this was ridiculous. Like, I was like, why are you guys so confident? What is this? I feel like I thought it was just gonna make everybody not wanna work as hard or whatever because they, they just are speaking and acting like they'd already won the game, the state championship game, which we had not reached ever in school history. And so when the season came around, we started off one and three. And I remember after losing that third game, it was just an app, it was crazy. Everyone was so upset, so mad. There was a bunch of fighting going on in between the players, but the state championship talk did not stop. The state championship party talk did not stop. The only thing that changed was that everyone was finally like ready to fully buy in. Everyone knew that if we really wanted to make this happen, everyone would have to lock in and make it happen ourselves. And so the, for the rest of the regular season, we'd only lost one game. But aside from that, we were stomping teams left and right just every single week, like putting up absurd numbers on offense, shutting out people on defense. And it did help that we had a ton of talent on both sides of the ball, like I said earlier. And it also did help that our quarterback was a four star who is now currently the quarterback at the University of Florida. But now we're going into the postseason. We have the opportunity to win the first postseason game in I don't know how many years in our school history, but a lot. But in order to reach the state championship game, we had to win three postseason games. And so we won our first one and our second one we got matched up with the one seed on our side of the bracket and they'd lost maybe one game all year long nobody thought we were going to win and honestly everyone thought we'd get completely blown out because i mean they'd basically been doing the same thing to every other team they played all year long and long story short we completely we just stomped them it was like 45 to 10 we completely just took their wheels off and then after that game everyone started to realize like, okay, these guys, maybe they're not that crazy. Maybe they can actually do it. And so the sub-state game, the game that we had to play to go to the state championship game, we played our rival school who had basically been just absolutely annihilating our school for the last like 15 to 20 years. And it was a double overtime thriller. It was like 44 to 37, but we ended up winning. So now like, holy shit, we're actually going to the state championship game, but now we have our biggest test, of course, and we're, we're playing a school who is basically double our size and they had won more championships in the last five to 10 years than pretty much every other school in our state. And I mean, they were a full on juggernaut and I'm pretty sure they still are, but it was a shootout. It went back and forth all, all game, just back, just blow, blow, just punch after punch after punch. But when it's all said and done, we ended up pulling out the win. It was 49 to 42. And we had just won our first state championship in school history. And of course, ever since the summertime we've been planning it, we had that state championship party 
it kind of went exactly how everyone thought it would go. Everyone got drunk. Everyone got way too drunk to even realize that we had just witnessed the law of attraction in action. And we were just, we were 17, 18 year old kids that had no idea what we just did. I mean, in sports, you always hear people and coaches and everyone say that it's so important to believe. You got to believe, you got to believe, you got to believe. But when you look, I look back at this, at this season, I realized that you cannot force belief. You cannot fake it. You can, you know, you can tell your coaches and your teammates, you have to believe and they can even understand how important it actually is. But if deep down to their core, they don't actually believe that they can do it. None of that matters. This specific group of guys before anything else, even before they stepped onto a football field knew they didn't just believe they knew that they had the talent to win every single game they played in. They, they knew that they had the talent to win a state championship. Nobody had to convince them that they could do it. Nobody had to tell them that they were good enough to do it. They just knew. We just knew. Despite really having absolutely no reason to believe it, to know that we have this talent and this ability to make stuff happen, to go all the way, everybody was bought in. Everybody believed. The only things that were standing in the way from the summertime when everyone started talking about it till the end of the season to when we'd actually win the game were time and the ability to just put one foot in front of the other every single day until we got there. And so this is why I realized that the law of attraction in its purest form is not about shouting affirmations in the mirror or trying to convince yourself that you're something you're not or trying to convince yourself that you can have some things that you don't deserve. It is about becoming something, becoming somebody that already has those things and then just waiting for time to catch up while you just take one foot and put it in front of the other until you get there. Because at the end of the day, you cannot convince yourself to believe anything. You cannot convince yourself that you can have anything. The proof has to be so strong and so undeniable that it literally would make it be impossible it would make absolutely no sense for you to not eventually have that thing that is what the law of attraction truly is but anyway i hope you enjoyed this story i hope you found it valuable because i certainly did i never thought i would ever put the dots together about the law of attraction through the lens of high school football but here we are moral of the story is that before you start trying to chase after something that you want whatever it is become the person that already has those things and all of a sudden you're gonna find that those things that you want are going to chase after you. They're gonna find their way to you. But again, I hope you enjoyed the story, this video. If you like it, subscribe if you feel so inclined, but until next time, peace out.